Swithin Fry Audio Diary, Saturday the 8th of April 2017. And good grief, I had to drive down to Bristol Airport yesterday to collect a friend who had been in Tenerife um, for a week seeing her family over there. So that involved driving from the Stroud area near Gloucester down the M5. There are several ways to get to the airport. And the first one that the that they suggest on the on the AA route finder takes you all through Bristol. Well, the the plane was due in at sixteen fifty five, so you know five o'clock ish. So I thought five o'clock ish, Bristol, <laughs> it's going to be difficult. So I plumped for the for the next exit, which isn't sort of recommended really anywhere. But I sort of looked it up on the map first. Exit nineteen. Which you go over the um, well, the River Avon, I suppose, by the docks, um, and then you'd go off on the other side of the river, and that way, well, all went well. The, the traffic was heavy. I left. I left here about four-ish. All went well until I got to Bristol, and then it seemed like everybody was heading down to the coast uh, for the first warm weekend of the year because my goodness the traffic there was well i i would estimate you know uh, in the hundreds of cars maybe thousands is what it felt like anyway we kind of slowed down to a pretty much a bit of a bit of a stop and um so i thought well god what should i do to keep myself amused here so i reached for my camera started taking photos for uh, what what do i well you know what what comes naturally let's do an audio diary that'll take up a bit of bit of you know a bit of distraction time and um so there i was happily sort of clicking away then driving forward a little bit and then sort of clicking and then driving forward a bit more and sometimes clicking while i was drive, driving forward albeit slowly anyway um I had my window down because it was a hot, hot afternoon, and this great big sort of black four-wheel drive thingy, all, all sort of shining black, dark windows in in the back, you know, like they do nowadays, and a couple of burly men in the in the front were kind of driving sort of parallel to me. They were in the outside lane, I was in the middle, and um, and suddenly the guy in the passenger seat leaned out of his window put his head out and, and his arm and he pointed at me and he said you should be concentrating on your driving mate and without thinking <laughs> with just kind of, I said in a, I put on this silly sort of posh voice and I said pardon could you say that again and he said you should be concentrating on your driving not taking photographs you know, I mean, he's very polite but rather aggressive you know and he looked burly you know uh, sort of short hair and sort of thick set and um and uh, I kind of just smiled sweetly and sort of kind of ignored him but it it did it did and that aggression that came across kind of did unsettle me I, I must say and then I began to think about that and I thought god you know I better be careful here maybe they'll try and force me onto the hard shoulder rip me out of the car and beat me up and you know because you know what happens nowadays you read about it don't you you know all this sort of thing happens and thousands of people are going past sort of you know witnessing it and no one stops to give you a hand that's that was one thought and i thought oh my goodness what have i done and then another thought was well it was a very posh car you know posh um, what, what are they suvs whatever that stands for and I thought, well, maybe it was some sort of, like, royalty or someone being transferred somewhere. And and whoever was in the back of the car, um, you know, and these were security coppers. And whoever ever was, ever was in the back of the car said, um, look, David, that man over there seems to be taking, you know, concentrating more on his taking photographs than on his driving. That is extremely dangerous, David. Do tell him. Um, and then I thought, oh my goodness, well, maybe they're just plain clothes policemen, and um, and they've taken my number, and uh, and they're going to send me a, a, a letter to say I've got to appear in court and 
and and, be, and maybe they've taken photographs of me. No, they couldn't have been doing that because they've just told me not to take photographs. Well, except he wasn't driving. Oh, it was so confusing. But <laughs> I then, so that my then thought process, well, they might send me a letter, get get that, get this man to court. Um, but um, I was driving my friend's car. I was driving Cynthia's car. Um, <laughs> because I, I'm car free at the moment that's another story but I was driving Cynthia Cynthia the friend who had been to Tenerife I was driving her car so I'm kind of thinking oh goodness what if sometime next week she receives a letter saying you've got to appear in court <laughs> she will look at the date of the offence and know know that it was me uh, but good grief I mean I mean, I think it was because of the, the warm weekend, but who knows? Maybe people travel like that every every uh, rush hour down there. But, um, gosh, sitting here in the garden in the sunshine uh, makes me think, wow, fancy living a life like that. I'm glad, I'm glad I don't do it too often. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that uh, good grief moment with you and um, enjoy today. It's going to be lovely. Uh, it's going to be lovely. Thanks for being here with me.